Hello there, this is Scott Kearns, that tuning guy. I'm going to demonstrate uh, the tuning curve adjustment on TuneLab. We'll open up the app, and uh, this is a basic Acrosonic Spinet, and it is in split scale mode, as you can see there. The break being uh, between F sharp, uh, number three F sharp, and G, uh, and G3. So we're going to adjust uh, the offset here. Yes, we want to adjust that. So there we go. You can see the number changing. And we will just try something like, like that there. Okay, hold on that, transfer. So then you can see the custom offset on that one note is uh, 1.03 cents sharp. We'll go to the uh, tuning curve screen and right here, I'm gonna change that to full automatic, right here where that red dot is, that is the uh, offset that we've set on D4. Now we're going to go into semi-automatic mode, see if we can adjust the tuning curve to match that. That's going to be a little tricky, but there, that's pretty close. Now we'll go back, and you can see up here the custom offset has changed. So we're 0.02 cents uh, sharp, but that's that's pretty much right on. This is not an exact science and uh, that's about as good as you're going to do using this method. So we'll go back to our tuning curve screen and also you can use full manual and adjust all the parts of the tuning curve you can see there. So back to full automatic, tap the screen and there's our offset right there again. And we'll go back to semi-automatic. Again, see if we can adjust there. When this turns gray up here, we've reached our limit of what this is going to adjust. Okay, we'll go back. Again, we're pretty close there. So if you have several offsets, um, probably going to be pretty difficult to get them all to match up perfectly, but uh, it could be close. And again, back to full automatic, you can see instantly how it, how it affects the whole tuning curve. Uh, again, this is an acrosonic. So you can see all the deviation in the base here. That is because when I tune to this piano, I use the auto partial selection. And uh, as you can see here on this screen, you pick where the break is. So actually on this piano, the break was at F sharp three there. And that from that point down in the bass, uh, Tune Lab will pick the strongest partial and actually change change the the uh, the tuning curve there. So it looks kind of weird, but that's what Tune Lab calculated in the bass sounds best. And let's go back to the main screen. Now the only way to get rid of this custom offset is to go to custom offsets in the settings and you can see here all the notes you can either scroll down and there you see uh, the offset for D4 uh, we can just zero that out or if you want to zero out all of them just hit zero all and click OK and then you're back to where you started. And 
back to our home screen. So I hope that's helpful to you. Uh, again, it's not an exact science, but uh, it would be one way to get the tuning curve to uh, conform to some offsets that you have. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.